Hello, Virgos. It has been far too long. Um, I believe I need to say Happy New Year. <laughs> Um, I'm happy if you are returning back. Welcome again. If you are um, new, welcome. If you're older, I just know that it's been such a long time coming, guys. Um, I've been here, there, everywhere going back forth like that can be another update. If you guys are interested, you don't have to be interested. I just (laughs) life, you know, it'd be life in from about August of last year. I have just been on a role with like responsibilities, family obligations, that and the third. So anyways, things are hopefully starting to slow down now. And I'm trying to take back some control when it comes to this channel um, and and try to re-put my energy back into it because I miss y'all tremendously. So this is going to be for the Virgos. Sorry that it's a little light. I was like, I'm right by um, the lights. I'm a little blown out. But Anyways, I hope that this video finds you well. Um, This is going to be a general reading for the month of March for what you can look into. I'm going to just kind of let the cards guide and see what comes up for you guys. Um, I know that I have like a lot of Virgo energy. That's why you guys are first. (laughs) Um, Because, but I have recognized that Virgos have been in a pretty interesting state of fluctuation, transition, and almost a little lost as if not knowing what like the next step is, the next appropriate step is. So I'm curious if these things are going to come out in this reading um but without any further ado let's get into it i'm also starting to open back personal reading so if you're interested in that all that information is going to be in the description box below and i hope to hear from you soon so let's go ahead and get into it let's see what is going on for our virgos quick update already had to come out the seven of wands to the queen of pentacles so you're definitely defensive or blocking something yep there it goes the eight of swords i knew it was going to come out because This has just been the energy. So I say this to you, Virgo, if you're watching this now and you have been feeling a little anxious or insecure in certain things or unsure, it's not just you. It's the collective energy that's going on that's going on right now. Um, I definitely feel like there's connections or partnerships, the three of pentacles being in the middle of the reading. That you were, (laughs) you were so defensive against. (laughs) And of course, a lot of you know that I do practice Vedic astrology. So you guys, a lot of you will most likely be Leos in uh, Vedic astrology, but we're not, we're not here for that. We're just reading the energies right now. But it's interesting that this, this wand energy is coming up. This Leo energy is coming up because I do feel like there's a defensiveness uh, against your ego or for your ego, or you want to control over something. Um, I feel like there is there are people who are very drawn and attracted to you with the queen of wands here and the queen of pentacles there are people here who are wanting your energy who are wanting to share your time wanting to share your space possibly romantically and in work situations and you are very defensive against it um you have your defenses up we also have the knight of swords so communication and then one last card the two of swords look more blockages more blockages. So Virgo, you know, I love y'all and I love y'all cause I could be real with y'all and have a real conversation. There's seven of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck <clears throat> and the five of pentacles to the three of cups. So a lot of you guys are feeling isolated. A lot of you guys are feeling like you don't have support, like you don't have friends or you don't have people to communicate with. Like you're just kind of out by yourself. However, there are people who are reaching out to communicate with you or people that you're meant to commute communicate with and you're making the decision to not talk to them so riddle me this Virgo how is it (laughs) that you're feeling isolated in some aspects but you're also not connecting with people um because all of this energy is guarded you have the seven of wands the eight of swords the two of swords this is all blocked energy that's popping up for you um And again, this is not to be harsh, but it just seems even the nine of wands, the nine of wands, there's just all this blocked energy where I think you need to truly relax. I think you need to relax and settle into something. It seems like you're very nervous about coming together with certain things. Um, You're very nervous about trying to dip your foot in. Perhaps you're scared of rejection of some sort um, or you're scared to be left behind. But I just feel like there's connections here or people who who have been trying to connect with you. Um, again, either romantically or business wise that you have just kind of refused to entertain or or entangle with the two of wands. I feel like there's, you know, um, this is so interesting. 
I'm hearing someone once told me the grass was much greener on the other side. <laughs> oh man. Oof, Lord. Such a such a bop, right? Um, but I'm hearing that you're stuck in this phase where you you're you you're comparing something new to something that you had before so what does that mean I, I can use a romantic partner for some of you this can be a romantic partner so let's say that you had this boyfriend when you were like high school early 20s or whatever and you were really in love with him but it didn't work out so since then you've always compared every boyfriend or every relationship that you've had to that person um, the problem is, is that you're blocking yourself from getting to know this new person because you're constantly comparing them to someone else. I feel like there's this energy here where you're constantly comparing somebody who's trying to engage with you and trying to open up with you, but you are comparing them to someone else. And that's actually stifling you from moving forward. There's something here that's hung up about the past for others of you. If that doesn't apply to you, I'm getting this energy here where, excuse me, you're certainly in a, in a space or in an era where you're just not satisfied like the grass is greener to you for something else you are where you are but you're just not happy you're wanting something else you are totally discombobulated in the space that you're in and you're looking over the new horizons for something else um i just see like pure dissatisfaction around the, the people that you have around you the the work that you're doing the space that you're in i mean it just feels like a complete like Humph, <laughs> like you know just the mood of humph of not being happy and look at that there's the queen of wands again it feels like yeah the queen has been knocked off her throne wow here's the beautiful thing though i feel like some of you guys some of you you know take it or leave it some of you if you've been trying to get pregnant for a long time you will be finding out that there's a pregnancy for others of you you're just going to finally feel inspired again um this will be Mars moving out of, it's in Taurus in Vedic astrology. So that means that it's in Aries. So it's going to be moving. I think I'm, I think I'm right about that. Um, Mars, regardless, Mars is going to be transitioning signs. And I just have a feeling that however it affects you in your chart, you're going to start feeling empowered, invigorated, and want to start moving forward. But you're going to have to be satisfied with where you are. This is one of those, the prime reading of just like being grateful, being present, you know, taking note around about what you have around you and being grateful and being satisfied in what you have, the four of pinnacles, being grateful in your surroundings. Because I really am just getting an energy here, Virgo, that you are so unsatisfied and it's causing a space of insecurity, but it's because you're refusing to see the good around you. I think you're only seeing the negative sides of things you're, you're choosing. I hate to be, you know, accusatory, but it feels like you're choosing to see only negative and it's keeping you imprisoned. It's keeping you bound up in your own thoughts. And that's not really what spirit wants from you right now, <coughs> because there is like such a beautiful um, energy surrounding you to, to come in that wants to come towards you. And again, this could be in the form of people, this could be in the form of jobs, but you have to be grateful for where you are now before spirit gives you what you are. And, and, and you know, and for some of you guys, and I, and I talked to some of you, you might be in a complete hellhole. You might be in a complete shit show. You know, it really might be that way, but are your bills paid? Is there a roof over your head? Do you have a car? Um, if you don't have a car, are you still getting around? Do you have enough for what you need? Like, are you, what, what you're asking for, is it excess or is it necessary? Is it a want, is it a desire or is it actually ne necessary and vital for what it is that you're trying to create with yourself? And I think a lot of you need to have a real conversation about that because I think that you're confusing your desires for needs your needs are met your desires are something like some of those desires you'll get some of them you won't but I think that there has to be a switch in your brain and the moment that you acknowledge what you have around you and you're grateful for what you have and you can acknowledge that your desires are just that desires I think that you'll actually start manifesting those desires in but you have to be content with what you have now it's all the buddhist it's the old buddhist principle you know it's just like desire is the root of human suffering and I feel like you are suffering because you want certain things but you are not acknowledging the the space that's around you and that can be quite frustrating for you but also frustrating for spirit to watch you toil um, when they're trying to give you everything that you need 
because they're not going to give you everything that you desire and you still have your lip poked out. You know, they don't, you know, nobody likes ungrateful people. And I hate saying it like that. And I hate putting all the, the prowess on you, but that's, this is just how it's coming out to me. But the beautiful thing is, it's just like, you're going to be back on top. Like this is very temporary. This is not who you are. This is not like your new normal. You know what I'm saying? I think that you'll be able to, I just heard go and brush your shoulders off by uh, Jay-Z. Like, I just feel like you're going to, you know, dust off your shoulders and keep it pushing. This is just a very temporary moment in time. So March is all about transitioning, counting your blessings, but also um, being realistic about what you can attract next and what are the realistic steps that you can take when you're not operating in such a negative space. That's in our pinnacles. So you're moving in the right direction. Um, I do see, I'm just hearing like a need for community. I think that